Stevie, let's take a look at your player rating, shall we, for this? Like, oh! I mean, <laughs> I tried wow. to be... Ge I was generous. God, the subs did well. Well, because they, they drew nil-nil in the second half. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Every so yeah. so they, they absolutely made a huge difference wow, in subs. You go 4-0 down and you draw nil-nil in the second half. Yeah. I mean, really. You know, I, I, I mean, I don't want to tell you. De Gea deserves two because, you know, he's... He's culpable, no question, for the first two. But after that, Maguire's supposed to be the captain. I mean, where, where did that go? Martinez just looked... He looked... He, was, he shouldn't have been playing. What? He shouldn't have been playing. But what happens next? Obviously, like, Ten, Ten Hag was asked, wasn't he, are you going to bring in players? And he said, yes, we need to bring in quality. <laughs> but they're chasing Arnautovic, they're chasing Rabiot. That's not going to make any difference in this sort of game, Jan, is it? They are in so much trouble. Not at all, and I and I speak with agents all the time, and they tell me about how they go along with the transfer. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's the way that uh, 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 if you get a player in, to try to recruit a player, it should be consequence of hard work, recruiting, and mm. everything. And you look at the club clubs around them. And I've, I've been the last two days. I've been by Manchester, Manchester City, seen the facilities, seen how they work, seen what they do as a club. And I mean, it's like unbelievable ahead of Manchester United now at the moment. And I think that sometimes the discussions about Glazers out, I, I won't have any clear opinions of that because they've spent money. But still, I think maybe, and like I said in the first, that some people are hidden behind that because there is, there is a lack of culture at the club. There is a lot of performance culture. And you may say that, that is the responsibility of the owners to put in the right people to do that. But if you have have a look at Manchester United now. Who should they bring who is available mm. at the moment who can do their better? I mean, can you imagine the, 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 <laughs> the guys in charge sitting there now and thinking, oh, OK, we got an agreement with uh, Rabiot's mother now. Maybe we should get an agreement with their son as well. Uh, and it's like, it's, like, it's like everything around them is, is silly. When you heard about Anatovic, I, I swear, I was certain that that was a joke. I thought it was someone having a go, and suddenly it was true, and then they checked that it wasn't trending on Twitter, and they didn't sign him. I mean, it, it, you can't believe, is this Manchester United, or is this my local club in Norway playing the sixth division? It's, it's farcical, and it's also difficult to play any sort of positive picture going forward, isn't it? Well, there isn't, and it, and it, it really is simple. The recruitment and who's responsible for the recruitment this is where it all lies. You know, because at the end of the day, you can say all you want about the Glazers, but as far as buying players, they spent the money. Unfortunately for, for everybody else at United, they've hired the wrong people to spend the money. Right. And it's really simple and straightforward. Listen, you go, you go back to Fergie's first year at United. He inherited a, a set of players and he had six months in his first season with them and he finished 11th. It tells you... If you have players who are not capable, then it doesn't matter how good a coach you are. And it took Fergie five years. And there was only one player left from the group that he inherited that actually won the Premier League, and that was Brian Robson. The rest, right. straight out the door. So this is pretty straight. But that's easier said than done. You can, no, you, it's, you, it's just a fact. But the you fact, can send the players out the door, but if you've got no-one coming they, in, then what they, do you do? But you... <laughs> you got to start again. <laughs> you got to start again. And that means that the expectation has to drop right. from everywhere around United because nothing's going to change if every single time they step on the field, every man, his dog, fans, everything is piling on and piling on and piling on. There has to come a time where it's like, you know what? They're just not very good. But there's Let's expectation and there's expectation, isn't there? But it's you never going to change until you get rid of the players. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it is really that simple. How do you do that? But, but you just put them on the curb and hope someone picks them up for free. You, I'll tell you how Fergie but, did it. He got his own young players. Right. Now, you could say that was genius or you could say that was fortunate. Right. But that's how he did it. Unfortunately, but, if you're going to have to buy your way out, number one, you need to get somebody in who knows what they're buying, mm -hmm. and two, you're going to have to get somebody with a silver tongue to persuade good players to come to the club. And not just players with talent, but, by the way. 
Yeah, you want everything. Players mm -hmm. with, with heart. Heart and soul and hunger yeah. and desire. The, yeah. per, the problem there, though, Stevie, but, is that you just mentioned, you said something there, capable players, right? There's a bunch of players in this Manchester United team that at some point over the course of their careers, they have been considered to be capable players. And yet, somehow, when it's gotten really tough, really difficult, this quote-unquote capable players have disappeared or they have sort of gone into their own corner and taking care of me first and then we'll worry about the team but second. You're never going to get out of this negative spin until you get this group working together. Go on, yeah. But yeah, now the problem, boys, is that there's a lot of problems, but this is a part of the culture. What the players do, how they they act on the pitch that is a, is a lack of performance culture and yes we can talk about sir alex ferguson what he did but he was one of the greatest managers ever 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 you know and that is a long time ago but it's easier to compare it with liverpool their arc rival at the moment and if i may say i read in a book from pep blinders the assistant manager now and he's talking about how they build up liverpool how they're building up their recruit uh, department for example in the portugal market when they get diaz nunez and manchester united want to get rabiot and anatovic and you may say well that is the last two weeks but what have you done before Ten Hag has known that he's going to be the Manchester United manager for a long time. You think that he's probably talked with these people and said the players he want. So, but And maybe the, the, the recruitment department will say that he wanted only Ajax players, Dutch players, or player he once managed. Fair enough as well. But they haven't got them either. Ajax player has been all around Europe. I haven't seen the best, none of them, uh, going to, uh, to, to Manchester United. So for me... Every, it doesn't matter, and, and Al said it right, you had Sancho playing in Germany, did great there, and you can may say, yeah, but he didn't, he, there was an easier league, and okay, uh, but everybody coming, getting worse. Hmm. Then there's something wrong with the culture, and it doesn't matter you, who you have as a manager. I mean, the only one you think of in your head now is Conte. Maybe he could do it, but what has Conte done at Tottenham? He has come in and made Juventus of London. So he is taking his players as well. Maybe he would have done the same at Manchester United. Maybe he would do something. I don't think there is something wrong with Ten Hag. I don't think we should say the juror after two games that he is useless because some, some way after Sir Alex Ferguson, more or less all managers have been useless. So maybe there is something wrong with someone else. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.